Hey, welcome to part two there, crappy campers. So, I figured I'd show you that uh, this house is still killing me. So far, I have brought my flooring, my now dusty, dirty flooring, all the way up through this room and out into this room and tied in the threshold and you may wonder why I have these boxes placed the way I do. Well, under there was a gap in between the uh, in the flooring because this house was built in sections. So we've got another one right here. You see all that concrete? It has heaved and moved since jacking up this whole house into a position where it would pass code and not fall down on itself. Um, so anyway, I had to fill all that stuff in with glue and whatnot and sticks and stuff. And well, I was, wasn't too sure about the glue that I used, so I was afraid that it was going to heave itself up again. So I waited it and then I waited myself to finish the rest of the floor. Well, actually I was at a point where my hands just didn't work anymore. So I had to stop. But today my plan was I'm gonna get the rest of this flooring in here and out through into the kitchen so I can go and grab my cabinets and I can reinstall my kitchen and then I can build my countertop and, ah shite, I gotta do that in the bathroom as well. But I'm gonna show you something. You see this right here? It's called Blonde Poplar. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the countertops out of that. And why? Because I'm dangerous! I think I am just that dangerous. See, as a crappy carpenter, what you wanna do is you wanna add on more work than what you'd normally do. I'm good at that. Okay, bye for now. Happy Thanksgiving, happy anniversary, Dad, Ma, Marsh, and I love you. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'm thankful for you guys because, uh, I don't know who else would put up with me. I love you all. Bye.